Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. She went missing for a couple of days. I, I, no, I knew where I was. Did you? I did. I Did I? I did. I did know where you were. I was like, you know where I was. Uh, she was at a comic did convention. You? Yeah, did I? Uh, she was at a comic convention for a couple of days. Uh, again, a big thank you to everybody who, who stopped by. And yes, said, thank well, you. Uh, there were quite a few of you. Yes, actually. there were. Um, so she is back. She is going to record. And you know what else is back? What? High Guardian Spice. That's right, because I found this earlier today. Yeah. Actually, I was tagged in it by somebody else. Yeah, they announced it uh, over the weekend that High Guardian Spice has been found. Now, we said before people thought it was canceled. We're like, no, we know for 100% certainty it was not. Uh, it wasn't just uh, buried because someone had seen the pilot. Yes. They contacted us and said, here's basically what the show's about. Now, we know the production has since disbanded. Mm -hmm. Um, so whatever's done is probably done. Yes. But I think it's funny because they're like, yeah, it's horrible. people hate on everything. And it's like, we were like the only ones talking about this and keeping it going. We kept the flame, the spicy flame burning. I mean, we didn't know what the show was going to be because all we knew was when we were going to talk about the show and talk about what we're doing, it was as a, basically a video of, you know, diversity. And that's all it was. You didn't show anything about the show. So we're, we're going to talk about it. It, it, uh, you know, it is what it is. It's basically what we expected. Now where people had a, a problem with it and where they're going to have a problem with it is it, it does not look like anime. It looks more like a cartoon network series, yes. which probably was by design because the way things were going, Elation was basically trying to make content for both Cartoon Network and Crunchyroll, all being part of so Warner. They were using Crunchyroll money and the Crunchyroll as a starting point. And that's, the problem mm -hmm. that's where people and we'll, we'll talk a little bit about the back because if this show had just dropped and it was coming to Cartoon Network and there hadn't been a whole bunch of drama around it beforehand I, nobody would have batted yeah. an eyelash it would have been like yeah it looks like Steven Universe don't care whatever or looks like Steven Universe great I love Steven Universe mm -hmm. uh, but because of all the drama associated with it there was a lot of backlash it was buried for years and now it seems like they're dumping it as they're getting ready to sell Crunchy roll. Which is what we said was going to happen. Yeah, but hey, what do we know? Uh -huh. What do we know? So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 236,000 subs. Woohoo! Thank you so much. See, everybody missed a woohoo. Did they? I think they did. Should I give an extra woohoo? Give give us uh, two or three woohoos. Oh my god. Woohoo! 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 And I feel really weird. That's my new ringtone right there. Okay, there you go. It's like, oh, Geeky's calling. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> now I feel really weird. <laughs> Especially if you Should. pick up pick up the phone and you like call yourself. And, and anyway, yours is star gentle uterus. It is. When you call me, it says star gentle uterus. Yeah, anything but. Uh, and <laughs> anything but a gentle uterus? Yeah, well, if you have kids. We're gonna talk about I already in spice. Uh, so yeah, this show was announced as the first Crunchyroll original. It seems like it's going to be the last one, or one of the last ones to actually get released. It's coming out sometime this month. Finally, as uh, Crunchyroll is getting sold again, that was another thing that we had been tipped off was yep. going to happen. People told us we were, we were nuts. We were wrong about that too, but we look, here we are. Totally lied about that one too, but uh, here we are. So it seems like they're just sort of um, emptying the uh, content coffers mm -hmm. before Sony... Uh, buys them, right? And look, I mean, it 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 looks. It, it's a, it's okay. It looks like a Cartoon Network show. It looks like a Cartoon Network show, yes. You know, and uh, you know, I can't if if this show again was coming to Cartoon Network, I, I don't think that people would have had the problems that they had with it. But again, like you said, it was uh, using Crunchyroll money, which you know the controversy, the big controversy there was. Crunchyroll is making a point of how little animators were paid in Japan. Yes. We're going to do our part to make sure that these animators in Japan, Japanese production teams, get paid better. Right. And, and that's they went, what they raised the prices, wasn't it? Like, yeah. Supposedly to, supposedly. to do that. So people are like, okay, that we're okay with that. We'll pay a little more if it's going to go help the animators in Japan. In Japan. But that's not what happened. What happened was they announced, hey, we're doing originals. Okay. And then they're like, oh, it's High Guardian Spice. Which, uh, you know, looked an awful lot like a Cartoon Network show looked very Western and their whole pitch for it. It wasn't even a, a trailer. Like if they had shown the trailer, people might have even been like, eh, yeah, okay, whatever. 
but it was all like a Kickstarter pitch. It was, mm-hmm. and it was all focused on diversity and the diversity of the people working on the show. It was a, it was a Kickstarter. It was a commercial for diversity, which is, it's fine, but that you weren't telling us anything about the show. Yeah. So, um, there are 12 episodes coming. It's coming out on October 26th. Uh, of course, it's done. I mean, this this show had rap production like two years it, ago. Yeah, it's been done for a while. So it's been sitting there. You know, uh, for sure. So this is coming from, let's see, animationexpress.com. Okay. And there are some different uh, different cast members here. I don't remember the ginger ginger dude. Is it a um, dude? I don't know. I, I don't know. Okay, uh, you can't tell. I Who don't knows? remember the goat. And oh, the, I do. I do. I remember the goat because I was making fun of it. I was saying it was kind of like, it reminded me of Dragon Prince. Oh, okay. Like if it was, um, what was the dragon? The name? Bait. It bait. It was like bait. Bait, who got, who got banned from Tumblr for being naked. That's right. I forgot about that. Yeah. What well, was this goat going to get banned for Tumblr for being naked? You know what I want to see? Hmm. Lamb. Lamb. Oh, the horror movie? Okay. I I want to see Lamb. That, then they need to have Goat. I was talking to Squid King, and he's like, yeah, we're going to go through the barnyard. We're going to have the, the old McDonald uh, cinematic universe, and we're going to have Goat, and we're going to have Lamb. But Nick Cage has already done Pig, and Pig is a dramatic movie about him trying to find his lost truffle pig. Well, um, you could do Cow, because you have me starring me. <laughs> Remember Moo Fat Cow Pig? <laughs> Moo Fat Cow Pig. Uh, Moo Fat Cow Pig. Moo Fat Cow Pig was... Uh, all of the meats, all of the That's meats. Right. Uh, well, no, knew? what it was was because I kept saying, "Do I look like a moo fat cow pig?" And then you turned it into a recipe for chili for, for chili a, with a, all a, the meats, a charity cookbook. Anyway. That's neither here nor there. That is also another comic strip we're going to work. We, Moo fat cow pig. Moo fat so cow pig. So now we're up to cake bitch tits tits tits. Moo fat oh, piss. We, oh, what was the one that you were calling yourself? The nine tits. What was oh, it? neon of the nine tits. And now we have I, moo fat cow pig. Look at look at this beautiful artwork by Mother Chicken Siamese, who's I know I, I documenting our every move. Uh, and that's about what I look like when he said it. Yeah, and I, I I am a, a a level eighteen dwarven dog fighter. This this belongs on Crunchyroll. That's right. With a milk mustache because I'm drinking my own juices. <laughs> oh um, I just noticed that. Oh, I, I just didn't noticed notice that. that either. But no, I guessed right. <laughs> I guessed right. I said. I said that uh, I had nine tits if I were dog, and dogs, male dogs, had between eight and ten. Do I want to know how you knew that? I didn't. I guess. Would you count on our dog? No, that's <laughs> weird. <laughs> oh, that's weird. I didn't count our dog's tits. That part's the weird part. Okay. Anyway, this Can we was, go back to the point. I want a Crunchyroll original, guys. I want a Crunchyroll original of of uh, the self milking dog. Near um, the nine tits. <laughs> yeah, this b- belongs on Crunchyroll for sure. Crunchyroll original. It would it would be huge. It'd be huge. Anyway, just anything with tits in it would okay. would get more attention. Okay, on can we can we uh, can we continue? Yeah, let's go. Let's go back to this. Anyway, yeah, let's please, went from let's... goats to tits. That's how we roll here. Okay. Uh, the company revealed that High Guardian Spice, created and executive produced by Ray Rodriguez, will premiere on October 26th with all 12 episodes. Again, the show is done. The magical voice cast for the show was also announced. So it's only 12 episodes. Yeah. Well, that's like two seasons on Netflix. <laughs> that's like two Netflix seasons. Yeah. Oh my God. It's not. Oh God. I can hear people right now. Clownfish TV. You lied. It's not canceled. It hasn't even dropped yet. They have a whole 12 episodes. That's almost two seasons. And I bet there's more coming. No, there's no more coming. It's like we told you Shira was canceled. You don't understand how it works. This stuff sits there for months, years sometimes. Animation especially. Like, it could be done. It could be wrapped up here in the U.S. And it could take a year to show up on the platform. I'm looking at the the list of voice actors, so I'm betting that they're all girls. Uh, Possibly, except for Anthony Brandon Walker. Okay, that's a professor. Okay. Anyway, um, well, I meant the the main characters. The main characters. Well, yeah, I, I I don't know. I don't know. It's 2021. I don't know. Let's continue. Do any of these characters have nine tits? I I maybe the goat. The goat I don't know how it. many tits goats have? Anyway, can we please stop with the tits? If somebody could answer in the comments and and no. answer the question, how many tits no, does a goat not. have? Not please. One. Oh, God. A two. A three. <sighs> Uh, okay, official synopsis oh read, <laughs> reads, The lives <laughs> of four fierce girls converge at High Guardian Academy, the one place where they can stumble comically toward adulthood. Well, maybe if you add them up together, me. they might, maybe if you add a few of them together, they might give him nine tits. While becoming the heroes they've always admired. 
They're stumbling toward adulthood. I've been stumbling toward adulthood for about three decades now. You're still pretty far off. I am. As they master the ways of battle and sorcery, the foursome form allegiances, uncover legacies, face betrayals, and discover their true identities. Well, they're a foursome. There could be, there'd be eight, <clears> but maybe one has a third. Because sometimes they do. That is true. So there you go. There's your nine tits. Anyway. Uh, man with the golden gun. He had I, I am going to make my fanfic... And the way I ship it is that one of them has three. And then there you go. Just for you. And since I have it in my head canon that makes it so, and if they have to, if they tell me I'm wrong on Twitter, they're just istophobic tool bags who um, deserve to be canceled for, you know, trying to silence a woman and for, you know, telling me that I'm wrong about the story that they created. Why are you drawing women with three boobies for your husband? No, because you said you like nine, the nine tits thing. Anyway, continue. Why are you? Why I'm just going with what you started. Anyway, they're going to discover their true identities while preparing to protect the world from an ominous unknown threat. Hate those ominous unknown threats. These are the characters Rosemary, the enthusiastic adventurer, intent on becoming a guardian. Sage. I'm see, I'm sensing a theme here. Yeah, no, you didn't get that before. Sage, Rosemary's best friend and witch who specializes in old magic. Parsley. An optimistic dwarf, an expert blacksmith. Time, an independent elf and gifted archer. I'm salt. And you're pepper. I'm, or I, would I be ginger? You're ginger and I'm salt. That's not an herb. Okay. I'm, I'm the, uh, I'm, I'm the kind of Maybe herb that... pepper and I'll be salt. There you go. Mandrake, a powerful witch and shapeshifter. Professor Hakone, Hakone? A guardian and professor of battle tactics. Parnell, the youngest student at High Guardian Academy. Neppy Cat. That's a cat? Neppy Cat. Oh, that sounds fun. Neppy Cat, a cat that hangs out near High Guardian Academy with a secret ability. Snapdragon, snarky best friend of Amaryllis who doesn't feel like he truly fits in. Slime Boy. Oh, there's a boy. Slime Boy. A second year witch who is a musician and lover of monsters. Amaryllis, an entitled witch. And school bully, Lavender, Rosemary's mother and renowned and powerful guardian who went missing. Professor Caraway, a powerful guardian and professor of sacred alphabets at High Guardian Academy, uh, played by Ray Rodriguez. So there you go. There you go. Uh, and also Freak Angels, which is Warren Ellis, which everybody is probably going to bring up and be like, Warren Ellis is problematic and got canceled. Probably. Um so did High Guardian Spice for about two yeah, years. Yeah, it got canceled too. For people. So, <laughs> yeah. so there it is. Did you go look at the comments on Twitter? They were fun. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. We're gonna look at some of these comments. Actually, it doesn't look that terrible, but it does look like a, it looks like a, a Cartoon Network show, not an anime show. Um, yeah, I, I agree. It doesn't with this. look that bad. It really doesn't. I mean, it, but it's people were upset because they felt like they were misled. I don't know why they can't wrap this around their heads at the studios, just be upfront and honest about stuff, and then people won't get so upset. But for whatever reason, that escapes them. I don't think this is Jeremy from the quartering. I could be wrong. He drinks catfish. Okay. I don't. I don't think that's Jeremy from the quartering. Uh, but yeah, I. I mean, honestly. Yeah, the controversy is more about where people thought the money was going. Um, that, that, if you look at the comments, that's mostly people are talking about. Yeah, yeah. Unsubscribing right now. Well, it was announced like like two years ago, you know. Uh, buy directly from Japan. Actually, I agree with that. I think uh, Japan needs to cut out the middleman. This is not a Japanese show, and I think that's what people are having a problem with. And honestly, the Crunchyroll originals have been really hit or miss. I mean, look at X-Arm. This does look better than X-Arm. I, I will. I will give oh, them that. It doesn't take much. That was a little bar. Uh, and again, the biggest problem I think was just not uh, being straightforward about you know what what this was going to be. Um, so, studio of these sexist feminist supremacists could actually pull the show. Uh, no, it was done. It's been done. We've it's been telling been you people. It's been done. It's been done. Uh, looks interesting. Looks like Cartoon Network. It looks like it's going to be for the audience you'd expect it to be for, which is fine. That, look, that's, yeah, again, Cartoon Network, not Crunchyroll. But um, here's, the, it's not a Crunchyroll type show, yes. Yeah. Um, and we heard the person that watched it, now they said admittedly they were they were fans of Steven Universe. They said it was okay. What's funny is that Crunchyroll have hidden replies that are rightfully calling out the show as a piece of trash that looks like it is. And then oh. they tagged us in it. But... Um, we actually have, I'll be honest, we look, go back and watch our videos. We actually have not been shitting on this show. We have We're, to see it. I mean, I have to see, the, I, we watch a couple episodes of it and then I'll, I'll tell you honestly. It's, it's something new. I mean, yeah, it looks like Little Witch Academia. 
but you know, it looks like Harry Potter and it looks like Steve Universe. But, you know, I mean, everything's kind of been done. Um, it is technically a new IP. And again, the biggest problem was the the drama around, you know, the bankrolling of the show and the you know diversity and inclusion push over right. content. You know? It's just, it, I don't know. I mean, we have to watch it. But I, I think if they'd just been honest. Yeah. Honesty is the best policy. Hollywood. Yeah. Um, but that's the whole thing. The whole Crunchyroll originals. There was a there was an article on, I think it was the Anime News Network, that was talking about the debacle that was Crunchyroll originals. Just all the way around. It was just mm -hmm. a huge cluster. And now they're sold. So do I think we're going to get more of this? Probably not. No, there's 12 episodes. That's probably going to be it. Unless they're waiting to see if it does really well. But I really doubt it. Uh, you know what? F it. I'm going to give it a go, at the very least, because it isn't an effing Disney cartoon. Uh, we'll, we'll check it out. We will. And if it's good, we will tell you. If it's good, we'll if tell you. If it's bad, we will tell you. We will be honest. If you watch our show, people get mad at us either way. When you're, you're they get mad at us for liking it or for hating it, whatever it is, which you're allowed to like it, you're allowed to hate it, that's fine. Um, so if we're honest, somebody's pissed no matter what we do. Yeah, so that, honesty that is, is where we try to We try to go. Um, I'm just, you know, uh, glad that it didn't completely, because look, what would have happened if this show never materialized, people would be like, you stole all that money from all the Crunchyroll subscribers and you didn't deliver on your Kickstarter. That's, that's what you'd be but hearing. This does not look like a show that a lot of the people that were subscribing would be into. No. This is, I mean, this, let's be honest. It does not look like something that Crunchyroll subscribers were wanting. No. So I can see why they're upset. Yes. Because they feel lied to, which is exactly what happened with He-Man. Um, they have a right to be upset about it. I don't blame them. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see if it's any good. It is a Western cartoon. But we told you it was done. We told you it was coming. We told you they would probably save it towards the end before it was right before they got sold. And everything else. And here we go. So we'll, we'll check it out and we'll be honest. There we go, guys. All right. So we're going to wrap this one up. Yes. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Hopefully less tits. Hopefully right. with less tits. Bye.